Hey, what's up everyone? Carlos here, back with another video. And what I wanna talk about in this video is whether or not you should have a website if you're a contractor, okay? So I was talking to this contractor recently about running uh, some Facebook ads for him and he was like, you know, Carlos, you're a little more expensive than the last person that was working on my marketing. And I was like, okay, well tell me a little bit, you know, like what were they doing? Well, they um, they did create a website for us. I was like, okay, cool, like what else? Um, they set us up with like a, I think it was like a Google, Google voice or like Google phone number, right? So they could like, um, uh, receive calls, something along those lines. I was like, okay, cool. And how'd that work out? Did you get like a lot of work from that? Did you actually get some, you know, some revenue? Uh, no, not, not yet, you know, but, uh, we do have the website, you know, I put all my pictures and stuff on there. I was like, okay, cool. Um, is that like what you're looking for now? No, I definitely want to get some work. I want to get some estimates and, you know, book some jobs. I'm like, okay, well, that's probably why, you know, a little bit of a difference. Um, so I think the thing with contractors, right? I mean, just a lot of people in general, but definitely contractors as, um, sometimes they'll tend to think that like just having a website automatically means people are going to go to it, right? That there's just automatically going to be traffic going to that website. It's not exactly how it works, right? It's like printing business cards and putting them in your dresser. If nobody sees the business cards, they're pretty much useless, right? So it's the same thing with a website. If you don't have ways to get traffic to that website, no one's going to see it. And it doesn't matter how nice it is. You're not really going to generate any business from it, right? Whereas with Facebook ads, um, technically what you could do is you could create a free business page, put your about section on there, um, post, you know, videos, photos, your whole portfolio on there. Um, you could have people follow it and then you could do all that for free, right? Then you can go ahead and run ads. People check out your business page. You know, you send those, uh, um, leads to your messenger, start conversations, get phone calls going, and then set up some on-site estimates, right? Do all that and you don't even need a website. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a website. What I'm saying though is it depends on what your goals are and kind of how far along you're, you are in your business. I think a lot of contractors, when they first start their business, they're like, oh, I need to get a website, I need to get a website. It might not be the best investment um, to make right then and there, right? If you're looking for work, if you're trying to get business like right off the bat, I would almost say it's probably not the best investment unless you have a strategy to get people to that website, which obviously you're going to either do organically, you're going to have to put money towards that, right? With like paid advertising. But um, yeah, I, I do think that a lot of contractors have this uh, um, misconception that just having a website is automatically going to get people to see it. And that's just not the case. So now if you're a contractor and you've already been in business for a long time, maybe you're running paid ads or, um, or you just have a couple of different like, um, you know, like physical, um, not digital, like networks, right? So you, maybe you're working with like realtors or designers or you're in different um, networking groups. So you have a lot of like real life leads coming in, then yeah, you know, have a business card with your website on there and then have like a hub you can send them to, right? And then they can, you know, they can go ahead and go through your, whatever screening process you have on your website, questionnaire, you know, fill out this estimate um, application, whatever, right? So if, if that's the case, then yeah, having a website is, is definitely a good idea. Or if you're doing like a longer play and you're gonna be creating organic content or you're doing SEO or something like that, then yeah, having a website um, will be beneficial. But I think a lot of contractors, what they do is they are word of mouth, they don't do any marketing, right? Slow season, busy season, all of a sudden they don't have any work coming in. They're like, okay, I'm gonna, I want to start doing some marketing. And the first thing is like, let me get a website. By then it's a little kind of too late, right? The website's not really gonna do too much. In that case, what you're gonna wanna do is yeah, you're gonna wanna run some paid ads. Hopefully you have a little bit of money saved up so you can do that. Um, but um, that's when it's gonna probably not be as useful. So yeah, just a misconception I kind of wanted to clear up. Hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of ideas to maybe what the best route might be for you to take. Um, Definitely not saying websites aren't important, just saying that sometimes they might not be the best investment. So um, hopefully that helps. And uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or DM me and uh, we'll talk soon. Peace.